I'm Juan Saptoroz, we're here outside of the Santos Party House for the No Mercy Metal Showcase. We got a big, like big, big shout out to Team Number 37, my boy CT, Gotham Rocks. Uh, I mean, I got him here with Godfrey, we're with Meg. And I'm, dude, like, I want you to tell me, introduce yourself, tell me a little bit about your band. Well, my name's Josh, I'm the singer of Letchworth. Uh, we're from upstate New York, Albany area. Uh, we just did a great show at uh, Santos Party House, and uh, pretty much, man, we're just trying to spread our name about, you know, we do a lot of upstate shows, got the crowd there going, you know, we're trying to spread the word. The scene, that's what we're trying to do, we're trying to build it up like it was in the 90s, the late 90s, you know, kind of died down a little bit, and I kind of see hope for it again, you know, I see it building up, we need a few good bands to do it up and support it, and I'm dying for that again, and I'll support it 100% all the way. Oh, hell yeah. And dude, that's where Homes Are Brock stands in the Albany scene. We are not fucking unfamiliar with it. I mean, I was at a show, I was telling her the show at Bogus last Saturday, I was there. Great. I mean, I don't know if so you, you were there or not, so but I was there. Straight. All right, cool, cool. Well, you know, like, I went to college upstate. I'm actually from Colombia. But to me, like, music is not a fucking one scene, one country, one city. It's about the whole fucking environment coming oh, together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. And a lot of people get the wrong idea. You know, they think they go to the shows, they're going to get beat up or something. But it ain't like that. It's like a family. It's a big family. And we got to all unite once again. And that's how, that's what it's all about. And you mentioned bogeys. We do bogeys all the time. And that's a great venue. And, uh... You know, just got to unite and bring the scene back because it's not violent. It's fun. It's it's a family. It's a big family. And it's got to unite once again. There's not like a 1% of motherfuckers out there who are like, oh, I'm going to go in the show and kill somebody, hurt yeah, somebody. Like such a small those. percentage. You always get those. And you know what? As soon as they pull their shit, they're yanked out the show by the bouncer. And that's all that happens. They ain't nothing. They're just drunk and stupid. And you always get one in the crowd, just like any party, any keg party. It's going to happen. And you know what? They're out of the crowd just like that. And as far as the music influences your band, like tell us a little bit how the band started and what you guys were listening to when the whole thing came together. All right. Uh, actually, we started when we were in high school, three of us, another band called Rise. Uh, that's when we started the hardcore slash metal. Uh, me, the bassist, and the drummer were in another band, Rise. And uh, we played that till we were about 18, 19, 20. And... Uh, Actually, I took a little break, and my drummer actually called me up one day and said, Hey, you want to sing with me, Mike, Andy, and Steve? And I jumped for joy, man. I thought about that shit every day. And uh, ever since then, we came up with Letchworth, and we've play been playing for, what, two, three years now? Three years. And there's actually a good story, because our guitarist, Andy Parsons, was overseas in uh, Afghanistan, and... Uh, we kept it going through the internet. He'd send us some tunes. We'd come up with lyrics and other tunes for it. And then as soon as he was done with the ar the army and shit, we came back together and formed Letchworth and kept it going. And uh, we're just trying to move on from there, man. Dude, where's Andy right now? Andy's right over there. He's over there somewhere. Can somebody go get Andy? But before he comes here, Meg, you yes. like we're hanging out there. We're drinking beers, like. Yeah. We all like do You know what I mean Like because It doesn't matter what your name is Where your color of the skin is Where you come from It's all about the music yeah. And you're like Oh you gotta come rock out with me And I was like Alright are we gonna slow dance And you're like No 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 Let's go fucking party And I'm like <laughs> But tell me why You like this band so much I, I don't even know It's just It, it hits you hard Hits you hard And you fucking can't help But rock out It's amazing yeah, it is. It like hits you really hard, and you feel it in your heart, and you feel it in your body, and you want to rock out. And I, you know, whatever. It's my husband's band, big deal. But I still feel it hard. And what they've been through, seriously, like two deployments, and they're still together, and they're still making music hard. It's awesome. It's awesome, and they stay together like through Afghanistan. It's insane. We'll get him over here. Not many bands can say that. No. Oh my God, it's insane. I would always like be online, like. Hi, Andy, how are you? Like, how are you? Me and Alex are fine because he has a daughter also. And he'd be like, dude, I wrote this great song. Like, you know what I mean? It was all about music even through Afghanistan. Oh, it's so 110%. This kid. You wait. You'll see. I think this is the guy we were yeah, waiting for. Andy. Get him. over here, brother. So, Randy. Andy. There was Andy, I mean, Randy, you know what I'm saying, Randy? Because Randy is my fucking homeboy. He was talking about Lama Goss, I'm like, Randy, you know what I'm saying? But Andy, from Leechworth, of course. Like, they were just telling me, like, you were overseas. And how did that influence the musical part of yourself? 
to be honest with you, a lot of what we write, a lot of what we play, derives from the fact that overseas, the, the, the small amount of downtime that you have, there's nothing to do. You can't go anywhere, you can't do nothing. So I brought along with me a, just a cheap, like $200 electric guitar with me. I brought my laptop and a little Pro Tool setup. And I just, all my downtime, I just spent playing and playing and writing and writing. The chapel had like a, a keyboard that I would use to like record little drum snippets. And then I'd go through and record some guitar stuff. They had a bass guitar there, I record the bass guitar. And I take those ideas, I would email it home to the band. They would listen, they would develop it, put their ideas in, email it back. I would add and add and so forth and so on. So our record is coming out in September, and I would say 90% of that record was written while we were a world apart from each other, literally. September what? Um, there's not a, an official date. It's okay. hopefully, you know, beginning of September, first week in September, something like that. You guys got to make sure you stay in touch so I can help you guys fucking push that shit because I'm all about this type of stories, you know what I'm saying? Why I called you is because, you know what I mean? Music is not just about what you hear on stage, but it's where it comes from. You know, and that's what I think about metal. The, the fact that metal is, I, I said it before, I've, I've always said this, it's the least paid genre of music. It's the least credited uh, style of music. So anybody that's in a metal band, they're not doing it for the fame. They're not doing it for the money. They're doing it because that's where their heart is. And they've got, metal has the most loyal fans. Um, and our other guitar player said it earlier, that's what we are, we're metal fans. So what other way could we do this other than to play in a metal band? And I mean, I gotta ask you, what was like, if you would have to pinpoint a couple stories from when you were overseas, outside of the band, what would you say is the one that sounds the strongest? Oh uh, wow, I don't even know where to start, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. As everyone knows before, like you know, we live upstate. We live in Albany. Right, right, the guys right. that I deployed with are from New York City, so a, you know, I've met a lot of people, a lot of like blood brothers, you know, right here in the city that I only see once a year on St. Patrick's Day. We have like a little like reunion we get together. A couple of those guys came to the show today, which is nice because I get to see them twice a year. Um, but you know, like it's it's like one of those band of brothers things. You can explain it to people, but you'll never really know what it is until you've actually done it and 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 as far as this band goes like with you know the whole metal scene it is a band of brothers it's an entirely different format of band of brothers but it's nonetheless like my band is my family just like my army comrades are my family and with that said leechworth i mean tell, tell us where come back here come back here you like I mean, oh, yes boy. Where can people hear about you guys? What do you mean? Uh, as far as websites. Oh, okay. www.myspace.com slash Letchworth Music. And there we got we got some YouTube videos on there. A little old, but don't worry. In September, you're going to hear our new shit, and it's very good. Look forward to it. With that said, thank you so much for as far as, like, I mean, we're one of the sponsors for the No Mercy Metal Showcase, so thank you so much for coming all the way from down from thank Albany you, yes. thank you, doing man. this, because we know what the Albany music scene has represented for the last 15, 20 years. A lot of people in New York might not know about it, but I fucking for sure know Same. about it. Or I mean, all I got to say, yeah, yes, yes, exactly, dude. You know Trauma Site? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You know, Waste Form. Waste Form. Yeah, we play Waste Form. <laughs> waste form. <laughs> On top of Waste Form, I'd like to give some shout outs to Mike Valeni and Brick by Brick, who's done, yes, done tons and tons of stuff for us. Uh, uh, bogies. Tony, Tony and Ralph Simeon from Bogies and the whole Bogies crew. Um, Marauder and uh, specifically in Marauder, Dave Stafford, who's our sound guy. Uh, they're the ones that really got our start for us. Definitely, so Definitely, definitely. We give props to all of them big time. You can never forget Black and Blue Productions, Joey and Freddie Malbo fucking representing the scene and worldwide. They started in New York City because New York Hardcore is a fucking hardcore Absolutely. music scene, but they went all over the fucking place to represent the fucking style. They're in Japan, they're in Australia. So with that said, thank you so much for coming back to New York. I mean, you guys, you know, as far as I'm concerned, we're going to be talking again soon. Thank, thank you. you very thank much. You. Appreciate it, man.